Hello, it's me, Ice Music. Let's wrap this thing up with my final thought, video blog. So here's what we learn about um, my political life. Because I warn those no good for nothing liberal, liberal media by special people, people buffoons has no right to do this. You cannot trash Mr. Trump like that. And I warn you, warning everybody now, you cannot even do that ever again. If you do, if you trash Mr. Trump or anyone else can sell ice, you'll be in big trouble. Because I will do something about this. As for Wiki, WikiLeaks, it has no agenda at all. Especially you, Joe Podesta. You're not a bit trash. That's my, that's my political life. Warning for who, who knows. Anyways, uh, my Omaha life. Last Saturday is a blast. Because I went to this event at Trinity Cathedral and I <laughs> and I wrote down those history things and I ever seen before, so who knows. And <laughs> you're gonna love it. So we're having a wonderful time last Saturday at Trinity Cathedral and wow, it's packed out there. So I saw Barb at Trinity Trinity Cathedral and Mary from All Saints and it, it was wonderful. For now, who knows? That, that's my Omaha life that I went to Trinity Cathedral, so who knows? And so is my religious life, Brother James Dodd at Resurrection. Wow, it was good. It was good. It was wonderful preaching the sermon and about neighborhood and uh, so, social outreach and all that stuff. And whatever happens to my religious life, yeah, my, yeah, my relig religious life is f from Luke 18, about the parable about faith and all that stuff. And well, what about, oh yeah, what about release, Re released? It's wonderful, it was cool. So, it's just wonderful. <sighs> this, is, this, is, this has gotta be cool. Anyways, um, what about, what about Omaha hat? What about hashtag Omaha Choirs? Wow. I tried to record this on SoundCloud and I, don't worry, I will post it on my website. So you can hear it, the, those hymn tunes from George Friedrich Handel. And uh, we'll just sing along with Ed Heard from Voices of Omaha. Just, and uh, it's just really, really, really cool. So cool so it was wonderful for Voices of Omaha and um, and and this is why I stay stay a little bit longer with Brian practicing sweet little Jesus boy and uh, don't worry we get inside Savior probably next week next week or so we're tackling this but tackling but we're tackling tackling sounds like football to me I'm sure it's like college football or NFL whatever it is because we're tackling uh, Prince of Peace and Darla. She's she has a wonderful voice. It's gonna be cool. So who knows? Well, I think it's time for, and we're gonna. That's why we're leaving you with this uh, from John, one, John chapter one verse one says, "In the beginning there was the Word, and the Word was with God." And should I say, the word was God? Yes. Uh, I'm reading this from Max Lucado's uh, Grace for the Moment. Because we're going to leave you with this. The Bible has been banned, burned, scoffed, and ridiculed. What about scholars? Yeah. Scholars have mocked it as foolish. Kings have branded it, is, it as legal a thousand times over. It if the grave has dug up and the dirge has been has begun but how somehow the Bible never stays in the grave nor it has survived and it has thrived it is the single most popular book in all of history that's where you, that's where you need to know history inside your schools or whatever and it has been the best-selling 
book in the world for years. And there is no way on earth to explain this, which, which perhaps is the only explanation. Now, here comes the answer. The answer is the Bible's durability is not found on earth. It is found in heaven for the millions who have tested its claim and claimed its promises. But it is, well, there is but one answer. And you guessed it, the Bible is God's book and God's voice. So what's the purpose? I'll tell you what the purpose is. The purpose is this. The Bible is to proclaim God's plan and passion to save his children. And that is the reason for this book has endured throughout the centuries. It is the treasure map that leads us to God's higher treasure, should I say highest treasure, and eternal life. That's all I can say. And that's my final thought. I'm sticking to it. And I'll be back Tuesday for my all new personal website episode so you're not gonna see this. And don't we get inside um, round three of this presidential debate sneak preview, so just to trust me about that, so it's all new hashtag Omaha Choirs on Facebook. Scabby, you know who, that's right. OSC at All Saints, and that's all I can say. Anyways, we gotta go, and don't forget to Facebook and follow LH Music at Facebook.com and Twitter.com. Should I say Twitter.com, that is. And you know my username, LH Music Time. And uh, don't forget to click like on my personal web website webpage at Facebook.com. Slash me, Larry A. Hall Jr. And you have to check my website and you tell me what you think at lhmusictimeblog.weekly.com. Anyways, I gotta go. And I'll see you on Tuesday. And LH Music is about to sign off. Go God's blessings. And I salute you, America. Take care. Bye-bye for now. See ya.